If you've been using .NET MAUI, you might be interested in my page resolver. I'm going to show you what it is, what it does, and how it works. Let's take a look at a very simple demo. This is a very simple shopping app. You can see here that I've got my main page, and my main page expects a view model to be injected into it. Now we can see that in, in app here, I'm injecting main page rather than newing it up. And all of those dependencies are registered here in Maui program with the service collection in the generic host builder. So I've got my services, my view models, and my pages. So because all of this is registered, I can just start my app. And Maui will bootstrap that main page for me with that dependency for that main view model. Um, so we'll just fire it up and we'll just see how that works. Okay, so we can see that the app is firing up now and we can see that we have our main page. So that has worked as expected. Now I can click this view products button, but it doesn't do anything. So let's wire that up. So if we have a look at the main view model here, we can see that the I command that the button is bound to is already wired up to a method here, but there's nothing in the method. So let's go and fix that. So I want to call await navigation dot push async. I want this to go to my product page so I can go new product page. Okay, I have a problem here though in that my product page uh, it, uh, constructor expects a product view model. Okay, well let's give it that. So I can go new product view model. But now my product view model expects a service. But we can see that all of these are registered here uh, with the service collection. So why can't I just use those? Well, you can. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install my package, .NET add package. Uh, goldie.maui plugins page resolver okay great so now let's just get rid of all this in fact let's just go back to maui program now the first thing i need to do is i need to actually register that i'm going to use that page resolver so i can go ahead and just go dot page resolver here use page resolver, sorry. We can see that I don't have to bring in the namespace. And the reason I don't is because I've added an imports file here, same as what you might see in a Blazor project. And I've got a global using for that namespace already. And that means that I can use it here in Maui program, but I can also use the extension methods that are in that namespace here as well. So instead of passing in the product page <coughs> to push async, I'm gonna actually specify the type, the page as a type parameter here. Okay, awesome. <coughs> so now let's run that. And we can see that I'm just passing in the product page, no other dependencies. We know it needs a view model. We know we need that the view model needs services uh, and all those are already registered here. So that extension method uh, should give us the fully resolved instance of that page with all its dependencies. So we can see that the app is launching now as it did before. Still bootstrap that main, spade, that main page, no issue there. We can click view products this time and we can see that it's now taking us to the product page. In fact, this list of products that we're seeing here comes from that product service. So that's working as well. These buttons don't do anything though, so let's wire those up. So if I go to my product view model, we can see that I've got the button wired up to a command and the command is wired up to a method, but again, the method doesn't do anything. The method takes in a product and that is the product uh, that you click on. So we want to pass that through to our product details page. We can say that our product details page is expecting a view model and the product. And that view model also in fact has some, uh, has some dependencies that are injected here as well, this cart service. So let's see how we can use that. So if I go back to my main view model, uh, go back to my product view model, what I want to do here is go await navigation dot push async. This time I want the type to be the product details page and I want to pass it through the product. So the way that this is going to work is that this product is going to be passed through and all the other dependencies, in fact, any dependencies here that are registered in the service collection will be resolved from the service collection and the ones that are passed through will be passed through. So let's fire it up and see that in action. So the app launches, I can go view products. This time I can click on a product. And in fact, we can see that it's working. The product has been passed through. The cart service is there through the service collection. Uh, let's just go back and go to a different product and ensure that, yep, we can see that that total and those values are still in the cart. So that's awesome. So that saved us a whole bunch of effort uh, resolving and building pages and view models and services with dependencies. We can just use that simple extension method. 
Now you can see here that looking at my, uh, my Maui program, there's a lot of boilerplate here and a lot of this follows a certain pattern. So we've got a, a service here that implements an interface where the name matches just with an I at the beginning. We've got another service that, that's not implementing any in interface that's just injected itself, but it is called service. And we've got view models here that match the names of the page. So we've got main view model for main page, product view model for product page, product detail view model for product detail page. We can actually simplify all this as well. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's add another package. It's in the same namespace, but it's auto reg on the end. So goldie.mauiplugins.pageresolver.autoreg. And what this is going to do is it's going to install a source generator for us that's going to use some uh, conventions to automatically generate all this boilerplate for us. So the first thing that we'll notice is that we'll get an error on this page. We get an error on this page saying that this class should have a partial declaration because there's another partial declaration of this class in the source generator. So let's go ahead and add the partial modifier. I'm also going to add a partial method. You'll need to do this too. Uh, so static partial void use auto reg and that is going to expect the iService collection to be passed in. Now all I need to do is replace all of this with a call to use auto reg. Use auto reg, pass in the builder service collection. And now I've got rid of all my boilerplate, all of my service registrations, my page registrations, my view model registrations, and all of that is now going to be done automatically with a source generator. <clears throat> so let's just fire this up and make sure it still works. Whilst we're waiting for that to build, we can have a quick look at the class that's been generated for us. So if we go to the dependencies and we look at analyzers, we can see that we've got maui.plugins.pageresolver.autoreg there. And we should see that it's generated an automatic class for us that has all those service registrations there done for us automatically and the call to use page resolver. So in fact, we can actually remove this from here as well. Um, I'm going to save that. It's already building, so uh, we'll let it finish the build. There we go, view products, watch, everything's working exactly as it did before. We didn't have to manually register anything. Let's just fire it up again now that I've removed that call there because we don't need that either. Make sure it still works. Perfect. So that's it. That is the Maui Page Resolver plugin that I've created that includes the Page Resolver itself and the Auto Reg Source Generator. If you're interested, it's on NuGet. You can install it. You can check out the page on GitHub. And if you have any questions or feedback issues, please let me know. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.